everybody. Today's video focuses on the use of pit maneuvers by the police. Enjoy watching. The video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Your comments and criticisms are, of course, always welcome. For these videos, I once again want to thank Police Pursuits. The links to the originals will be in the description. Little Rock Police were in pursuit of a carjacked vehicle and requested assistance from the Arkansas State Police. The Maroon 2005 Acura MDX bearing California license plates had been stolen at gunpoint. A police officer certified for pit maneuver waited for the chase a little further and then as soon as there was a safe distance to the passing cars, performed the pit maneuver. Successful pit, Scott Hamilton. On January 26, 2023, at 4.17 a.m., Trooper Andrew Stovall advised that Benton Police Department were in pursuit on Interstate 30 eastbound from Sevier Street with a suspicious vehicle, a blue Jeep Liberty with Arkansas plates. Hey, you need to stay off the road. We may have a pursuit coming through. Stay off the road. The driver was suspected to be related to a breaking and entering incident within the city. It's little things that make you see how a police officer treats their job. He could have just driven on, but he stopped and warned the cyclist. Now you're watching everyone pass the police officer who has been certified for the pit maneuver. That's the primary. That's the only one. I'm going to go straight to the intersection. Watch the cars coming on. There's a creek right here in tracks uh, from this area. I know it. So I'm going to hike back and wait. Once we get through this area. After the successful pit, the suspect began fleeing again by driving off the roadway through a private property fence and into a field. Shortly after entering the field, the suspect became stuck. Both the driver and passenger exited the vehicle. Hey Stovall, you wash, have these guys wash my car for me? Hey, my car is dirty. They need to clean it. Did you mess it up? No, but it's just muddy. No, he didn't mess my car. Little Rock, Arkansas. Early in the evening, the Dodge Challenger driver had fled from the local agency. The suspect vehicle was spotted by Trooper Niles, who continued the chase. 10 4, that's the uh, vehicle. After a perfectly performed pit maneuver, another conversation with the police awaits. Damn, bro. Hey, 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 hey
Coco. Yeah, well, you should stop. Yeah, you it did be. that, bro. I didn't do that. That's what you did, man. If you learned to hit your brakes instead of your gas, you would have stopped and your car would be messed up. I didn't even know who that was that person. It man. don't matter. You should have ran from Placid County. When? Don't act like when. You saw me go up there Broadway, too, or no, uh, I High didn't. Street. You took off and took Broadway, ain't it? No, I did. Yeah, you did. You dipped off at Broadway on me. The reason for the chase is speeding and driving without lights on. There are no interesting facts that I would like to tell on this chase, so just enjoy the chase at really high speed. Another great pit maneuver. I won't torture you with these screams, but if you suddenly want to listen to them, the links to the original is in the description under the video. Thank you for such a veiled question. I didn't even know what you meant right away. In the late fall and the first month of winter, almost every week our neighbors left us without electricity and heat for several days. They did it right on schedule, every Monday. But after air defense systems from friendly countries started coming to Ukraine, the consequences of the shelling became much easier. Well, since our neighbor is not particularly gifted, they kept doing it without changing anything, just throwing out billions of dollars so that Ukraine would sit without power for a couple of days. The last two months were no major attacks on the energy system, but two days ago they again fired about 80 missiles on the energy system, of which 15 flew to my native Kharkiv. Two days later, it is still without light. <laughs> 